It looks like Black Friday 2024 is going to happen at Fanatec. There's now a holding page to be found, so that's as good a sign as any. Now, Black Friday is the only time of year that Fanatec holds any kind of general sale. And to their credit, the discounts are usually pretty deep, so it's always a bit of a frenzy. Now, Black Friday 2023 was a monumental event but not in a good way. So this video is a quick heads up for anybody looking for signs that Black Friday is gonna go ahead, but also a quick warning to those who have not seen previous Fanatec Black Fridays go down. In a nutshell, it's previously been a legitimately good time to buy stuff at a deep discount, but it's not necessarily been a good time to get that stuff quickly. So if you head to blackfriday.fanatec.com right now, there's a holding page for the Black Friday sales. This page usually converts into the actual sales page when Black Friday goes live. Alternatively, there's an affiliate link in the description that will take you straight there. You don't have to use it, but if you do, that helps me out at no extra cost to you. Thank you very much if you do use it, but if you don't use mine, your favorite creator may well have one too in their video description. Please keep in mind also that the content of this video is based purely on publicly available information and previous patterns of behavior of Fanatec in past years. But now that they're under new ownership of Corsair, I could be completely wrong this time. So let's look at the positives first. Black Friday is usually Fanatec's only big sale of the year. And if previous sales are anything to go by, the discounts are usually pretty significant, to be fair. Last year, among others, you had the CSL Elite V2 pedals. They were on sale for 33% off. The ED2 wheelbases were 47% off. The shifter was 43% off. Club Sport pedals, 40% off. Formula wheel, 43% off. You get the idea. There were loads more of them than those, but the, the discounts were pretty deep for those that were on sale. I don't think anybody can argue that the prices have been the one good thing about Fanatec's Black Friday sales. The big question is always going to be what's on sale, but typically speaking, based on Fanatec's previous behavior, it's always going to be stuff that's been on sale for a year or more already. So it's not brand new stuff that usually goes on sale on Black Friday. Last year was kind of an exception with the QR2. I remember the QR2 being released in like August or something like that, and then going on sale not long after in Black Friday. That was, a, that was a crazy decision, but I think they saw no choice because they wanted people to adopt QR2 sooner rather than later. So I see the QR2 upgrade as an anomaly. Normally they don't discount stuff that's freshly released. That doesn't exactly narrow it down this year because Fanatec has not been very busy releasing stuff given all the problems that they've had. But nonetheless, don't expect any significant discounts on like the Bentley wheel, for example. As soon as I know more, I'll share it with you. But in a minute, it's just guesswork. It's stuff on their back catalog that is still a good deal, but it's nothing that's brand new. So the sales are usually good, the discounts are usually heavy, and they do usually have a widespread of stuff on sale. That's the positives, but here's the negatives, and you need to listen carefully if this is your first Black Friday. Previous Fanatec Black Fridays have always been intensely busy. I'm talking website going down busy. They always get completely hammered and swamped. The site might be slow or crunchy during a sale, and it might go down at times, but this is par for the course for Fanatec Black Friday. Previous Black Fridays have also, in one way or another, stressed Fanatec's ability to fulfill but 2023 was on another level entirely. Due to various issues of a technical strategy and customer service nature, a lot of customers were left severely frustrated by the problems they experienced during Black Friday and the aftermath of fulfilling their orders. 2023 unleashed a storm of negative sentiment on Fanatec and it seemed like everywhere you turned, their social media channels and forum were being peppered with complaints from customers. And if you take some of them at face value, some of them were waiting like six months for the orders to be fulfilled because of the glitches and problems that were encountered. Now I'm sure that a lot of people receive their orders perfectly fine, relatively speaking. My mate Dean ordered a DD2 on the 26th of November and received it on the 13th of December. And I consider him to be pretty lucky. That's pretty fast considering the logistics issues that were happening at the time as well, combined with Black Friday. I think he got off lightly. Ultimately, Fanatec does shift a lot of stuff and you only need a small percentage of things to go wrong for a lot of complaints to appear online. So we see it, we watch it all the time. The vast majority of people probably receive their orders completely unaware of the turmoil that was happening behind the scenes. But 2023's Black Friday left a 
deep scar. This past year appears to have been so turbulent for Fanatec that the existence of a Black Friday sale this year is a big deal. It cannot go wrong. Now I reiterate again, everything that I've said is stuff that's publicly available or is just purely speculative based on previous patterns of behaviour. But the new owners, Corsair, could change things up a bit. The one thing that they cannot afford to do is to let the mistakes of 2023 be repeated. Black Friday is a massive time of year for Fanatec and it went so badly in 2023 that it has to be considered a permanent low point. And let's just wait and see what happens if anything's improved. Anyway, that's it for this quick heads up video. As I say, blackfriday.fanatec.com now exists as a holding page, so bookmark it or use the link in the description. That'll help me out if you do that as well.